welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Maureen. Let's get started by singing our hello song. When we sing hello, we will salute. And when we sing friends, we'll take our first two fingers and have them give each other a hug. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. So this week we are doing things a little bit differently. From now on, I'll be putting out one of these videos once every two weeks. So instead of just doing one theme, we are going to combine two themes into our story times. So today we're talking about bunnies and eggs. Bunnies and eggs are both signs of spring. Do you know why? Well, lots of babies are born in springtime. Bunnies are baby rabbits. And many animals, like birds, bugs, reptiles, amphibians, fish, they all lay eggs. Let's talk about the word bunny. What letter does bunny start with? B, B, bunny. Yes, bunny starts with the letter B. B for bunny. B. Can we practice writing the letter B? If you have a piece of paper and a pencil, you can practice using that. But if you don't, you can practice using your finger. Let's walk through the letter B together. For B, we want to make a straight line down and two bugs coming off of that line. Let's try together. So a straight line down and then we want two bumps coming off of the straight line. One, two, B for bunny. Let's try with our fingers. A straight line down, one, two, B. Good job. Let's put our letter B back where it belongs. And let's talk about the word egg. What letter does egg start with? Eh, eh, egg. Egg. Yes, egg starts with the letter E is for egg. E. Let's practice writing the letter E. For E, we are going to make a straight line down again, and then three straight lines coming out of that line. Let's try it together. One line straight down. And three lines out. One, two, three. E. Let's practice using our finger. Down. One, two, three. E. Good job. We'll put our letter E back where it belongs. Let's learn how to say bunny using American Sign Language. For this sign, take both of your hands and fold your fingers down so you just have your thumbs, your pointers, and your middle fingers sticking out. 
turn our hands around and put them up on our head like they are our bunny ears. To sign bunny, you just boop, boop, flop your ears two times. Bunny, bunny. Good job! Why don't we learn the sign for egg? We're going to use a similar hand shape for egg. We're going to make our letter H using both of our hands. So the same three fingers, our thumbs, our pointer, and our middle. And you want your dominant hand, the one that you eat with, that you draw or write with, on top, and your other hand underneath it. We're gonna crack our other hand with our dominant hand, like we're cracking an egg, and then separate them. Egg, egg, egg. Good job! Now you can talk about two signs of spring using American Sign Language. Bunnies and eggs. Good job! Before we go into our first book today, let's sing our alphabet together. You can pat along at home, you can sing along with me, or you can sign along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job! Our first book today is a silly one. It's called Please Don't Eat Me by Liz Kymo. I'm going to read the inside flap so we have an idea about what this book is about. When a carefree bunny is approached by a voracious bear in the woods, Bunny has just one request. Please don't eat me. But the bear has a never ending list of requests and Bunny realizes maybe Bear isn't as hungry as he let on. Maybe he just wants his new friend's company for a while. Hmm. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. There's a little bunny. Ooh. Ah, oh, nuts. Please don't eat me. But I'm so hungry. Okay, I'll order you a pizza. So, can I have the last slice? Not unless you want me to eat you. Okay, Bear, I got you a pizza. You aren't gonna eat me now, right? I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a meal without dessert. Okay, bye. Wait. I still need to eat you. My friends will make fun of me if I don't. Oh no, I am being eaten. What a bummer, ouch. Okay, are we good now? Oh, those guys weren't my friends. Looking good, man. Now I'm leaving. Can I have your foot first? I hear a rabbit's foot is lucky. Uh, here you go. This is even luckier than a rabbit's foot. It's like way luckier. A rabbit's foot isn't even lucky. No way, not one bit. Okay, toodaloo. Wait, 
Are you sure I shouldn't eat you? I mean, you did burrow through my lawn earlier. That was pretty rude. For crying out loud. Do not burrow. This means you, bunnies. Okay, see ya. Wait. Fine, that's it. Just eat me already. you. Are you kidding? Then why did you put me through all of that? I didn't want you to leave. I like hanging out with you. I don't have many friends. And besides, didn't we have fun? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we did. Please. So, what should we do now? Well, I am starting to get a little hungry. Ah, nuts. The end. There are some bunnies in the library, and they are such bright and beautiful colors. Here comes the first bunny. Boing, boing, boing. What color is the first bunny? Red. A red bunny. They blend right into the board. But we have more bunnies. Boing, boing. Is the second bunny orange? An orange bunny. So beautiful. There are even more bunnies coming. Boing, boing, boing. What color is the third bunny? Pink. A bright pink bunny. Wow, so many colors. But there are more colorful bunnies coming. What color is the next bunny? Boing, boing, boing. The fourth bunny is blue. A pretty light blue. I think we're missing one. Oh, there he is. Boing, boing, boing. What color is the fifth bunny? Green, a green bunny. Wow. So how many bunnies do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five little bunnies. Five little bunnies. Hopping down the trail, one fell off and bumped her tail. Bonk, ow! So Mama called the doctor, and what did she say? No more bunnies hopping today. Do you think these bunnies will listen? Boing, boing, boing. I don't think so. Four little bunnies hopping down the trail. One fell off and bumped her tail. Ouch! So Mama called the doctor, and what did she say? No more bunnies hopping today. How many bunnies are left on the trail? One, two, three, 
three. Do you think these three bunnies will stop hopping? Boing, boing, boing. I don't think so. Three little bunnies hopping down the trail. One fell off Ooh, and bumped her tail. Ouch. So Mama called the doctor and what did she say? No more bunnies hopping today. We have one, two more bunnies. Do you think these two bunnies will stop hopping? Boing, boing, boing. I don't think so. Two little bunnies hopping down the trail. One fell off ooh, and bumped her tail. Ouch! So Mama called the doctor and what did she say? No more bunnies hopping today. Well, there's just one bunny left. Do you think this bunny will stop hopping today? Boing, boing, boing. I don't think so. One little bunny hopping down the trail. She fell off and bumped her tail. Ouch! So Mama called the doctor and what did she say? No more bunnies hopping today. How many bunnies do we have left on the trail? Zero. No more bunnies. Do you think the bunnies will listen? Maybe take a rest from hopping? I think this time they're going to listen. Aren't you little bunnies? Yeah. We need to take a little nap. Get ready for more hopping later. While they're resting, let's go on to our next book. Our next book is called Wee Little Bunny by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by John Butler. Look how cute that little bunny is. So cute. Let's check out the inside flap to see what this book is about. This wee little bunny is the busiest bunny in the whole meadow. He wants to do everything, chase everything and play with everything all at once. But at the end of the day, his mama is the one who can get him to stay in one place long enough to share his busy little tales. Wee little bunny. Wee little bunny. It was spring in the meadow and the wee little bunny was all brand new. This wee little bunny was a busy little bunny. What will you do today? asked his sweet mama dear. Everything, said the bunny, and run, 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 he chased a dragonfly. Let's hide inside this log, said the stripy chipmunk brown. Chase me first, called the bunny, and giggle, 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 he dashed through the grass. Settle down now, grumped the prickly porcupine. Sorry, sir, said the bunny, and tippy-tippy-toe, he splashed across the brook. Time to hop on home, sang the chickadee-dee. Soon, called the bunny, and wiggle-wiggle-wiggle, he tumbled in the clover. Then the wee bunny heard Mama call, story time, and he scampered fast, 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 right to Mama's side. There's my busy, dizzy bunny, said Mama with a tickle. 
Won't you sit a little while and tell your busy tale? Oh, yes, said the bunny. Then snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. He told the happy tale of his busy, dizzy day. The end. I don't know about you guys, but watching that busy little bunny run around and then get all cuddly with his mama made me kind of sleepy too. Hmm. I think I'm going to just curl up and take a little bunny nap. Good night, little bunnies. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. They're so tired, should we wake them soon? They're so still, are they ill? No! Wake up, bunnies! Wake up and hop! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop and stop. <sighs> All that hopping made me really tired again. I'm gonna go back to bed. I need another nap. Good night, little bunnies. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. They're so tired, should we wake them soon? They're so still, are they ill? No! Wake up, bunnies! Get up and hop! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop and stop. Oh man, I don't know. I'm feeling really tired again. I think I need to go back to sleep. One more nap. I think one more nap will do it. Good night, little bunnies. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. They're so tired, should we wake them soon? They're so still, are they ill? No! Wake up, bunnies! Get up and hop! Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, and stop. Good job, little bunnies. Whew. I'm feeling so energized. I think I'm ready for another book. This book is not about bunnies. It's about eggs. It's called Tilly Lays an Egg. It's written by Terry Golson with photography by Ben Fink. So instead of drawings in this book, there are photographs. Let's read the inside flap to see what the book is about. Unlike the other hens at Little Pond Farm, Tilly isn't one to wait her turn to lay her eggs. And she's certainly not one to stay cooped up all day. Off she goes. Hmm, I wonder what Tilly's gonna get up to. Tilly lays an egg. And here are all of the chickens. There's Tilly, the white chicken. And then Prudence, Edwina, Twinkie Dink, Buffy, Marge, and Ginger. Tilly lays an egg. In the backyard of the big white house on Little Pond Farm, there is a small hen house. Seven chickens live here. Each hen lays one egg a day. The hens lay their eggs in nesting boxes. There are seven chickens, but only three boxes. What do the hens do? They take turns. On Monday, Buffy, Ginger, and Twinkie Dink go first. They lay their eggs and then go outside to scratch for corn in the barnyard. Next, 
Marge, Edwina, and Prudence laid their eggs and then joined their friends outside. Now there are six eggs in the nesting boxes. Where is Tilly? She doesn't want to wait for her turn in a nesting box. She doesn't want to eat corn in the barnyard. She wants to look for worms. Yum, she thinks. There are plenty of tasty worms here. Where has Tilly laid her egg? Do you see Tilly's egg? Hmm. It's there by the blue shovel. On Tuesday, Tilly looks for something to eat on the farmhouse porch. Yuck, this worm is very dry, she thinks. I wonder if there are juicier worms inside. Where has Tilly laid her egg? Do you see Tilly's egg? Hmm. It's in the dustbin. On Wednesday, Tilly goes into the kitchen. She does not find any worms, but she does find some breakfast. Delicious, she thinks. This tastes much better than the corn in the barnyard. Where has Tilly laid her egg? Where is Tilly's egg today? Hmm. Do you see it? There it is, in the sugar bowl. On Thursday, Tilly goes into the laundry room. Ah, she thinks, what a cozy nest. Time for a nap. Where has Tilly laid her egg? Do you see Tilly's egg? Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's on the ironing board. On Friday, Tilly explores one of the bedrooms. Hmm, she thinks. This place has everything but worms. Where has Tilly laid her egg? Do you see Tilly's egg? Hmm. Oh, there it is, by the rain boots. On Saturday, all of the hens even Tilly stay inside. The sky is dark and the rain is cold. Drat, Tilly thinks. I don't want to get my feathers wet. Soon, all the hens have laid their eggs except for Tilly. What will she do? Tilly hops up and looks inside a nesting box. Hmm, she thinks. This nest is warm and dry and very comfy. Finally, cluck the other hens, Tilly laid an egg. On Sunday, Tilly peeks outside. The rain has stopped. Look, look, she clucks. Worms are wiggling in the dirt. The other chickens don't notice. They are too busy scratching for corn. You don't know what you're missing, thinks Tilly. Off she goes. Where will Tilly lay her egg today? Do you see where Tilly laid her egg? Hmm. Oh, there it is under the seat of the truck. Silly Tilly. The end.
We have a chicken friend at the library too. She's a little different than Tilly. She loves to be in her nest, don't you? Do you think our chicken has laid any eggs for us today? Let's check. Excuse me, little Miss Chicken. What are those? There are eggs in here, but they're shaky eggs? Huh. Thank you. Why don't we put you back in your nest? Silly little chicken. What kind of chicken lays shaky eggs? I actually know a song about a chicken who lays a shaky egg. Let's sing it together. If you have shakers at home, go ahead and grab them. If you don't, they're really easy to make. I bet you might have a couple plastic eggs lying around from this past weekend. You can use those, fill them with dry rice, dry beans, dry corn, and just make sure to tape up the edge or ask an adult to hot glue it for you so that it doesn't spill everywhere. But if you don't have plastic eggs at home, you can also use an empty water bottle. If you don't have a shaker or you don't feel like grabbing one or making one, you can just shake your hands for this. So this beginning part, you can shake along with me as I sing, and you can also repeat the words that I sing. So I'll say, I know a chicken, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg, and she laid an egg. I know a chicken, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg, and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's a shaky egg. Now for this part, can you shake it back? Donkey egg. 
by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crumble. I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember donkeys coming from eggs. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe donkeys do hatch out of eggs. I guess we're gonna find out. Before we do, do you recognize this guy on the cover? He kind of looks like a bunny, doesn't he? But he's a little bit different. Remember I said that bunnies are baby rabbits? This animal looks like a rabbit and is related to a rabbit, but they're actually called hares or jackrabbits. Look, can you see the difference? This is a rabbit, a bunny, and this is a hare or a jackrabbit. Hares have longer legs and longer ears. And they run a lot faster than rabbits. So this book kind of is related to our bunny theme as well, but just sort of like a distant cousin. Well, let's read the inside of this book to see what is going on with this donkey egg. Bear doesn't want to work on his farm. He'd rather sleep all day. Good thing Fox knows exactly what Bear needs. A donkey. And Fox just happens to have a donkey egg that's almost ready to hatch. But wait, donkeys don't come from eggs. Is Bear in for a fruity surprise? Hmm, let's see. The donkey egg. The donkey egg. Starring Bear. Old, lazy, cranky. Worked hard once, but not anymore. Needs motivation. Hair. Friendly, speedy, always running wants a rematch with tortoise. Blanket, warm, dramatic, hides things, multi-talented, has a checkered past. Fox, clever, loves to play tricks, looking for mischief and some quick cash. Egg, green, mysterious, what's inside? And a cameo appearance by Donkey. Where did he come from? Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and it needed repair. But Bear didn't care. He just slept in his chair and growled at his neighbors, Fox and Hare. <laughs> Wake up, Bear! cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty fine farm, grow some mighty fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need help, and I've got just the thing. Grrr, growled Bear. What thing? Ta-da! A donkey! That's not a donkey cried Bear. Not yet, but it will be, said Fox. It's a donkey egg, a genuine certified donkey egg. Still green, has to ripen and hatch. That's where you come in. Keep it warm, safe, and happy, like a little mama bird on her nest. It will take time, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, so be patient. Then, voila, a donkey. As you know, Bear, lots of animals come from eggs. Chickens, dinosaurs, platypuses, alligators, and donkeys. It's the truth. I can see it now. Your fields are plowed. Your house is painted. You and your donkey, sitting on the porch, watching the sunset. What a deal. And it's a steal. Today only, 1995.
No way, said Bear. Fox sighed. Okay, I'll settle for that $20 bill. Sold, it's a done deal. Fox scooped up the cash, disappeared in a flash, and all that was left was Bear in his chair and a gigantic green donkey egg. That fast-talking fox, muttered Bear. Now what am I supposed to do? Then he remembered. Keep it warm. So like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat. This way and that, he sat and he sat. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, minutes passed. No donkey. Did you know one minute equals 60 seconds? It takes about a second to sneeze. Uh, uh, choo. A hummingbird's wings beat about 70 times in one second. So fast, you can hardly see them moving. It takes about a minute for an ice cream cone to melt on a hot day. It takes about two minutes to brush your teeth. Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when he screeched to a halt. Bear, you're out of your chair. I'm sitting on my donkey egg, growled Bear. What? Donkeys don't come from eggs. Yes, they do, cried Bear, like dinosaurs, chickens, alligators, platypuses, even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it will hatch. And sitting for a whole hour, no donkey. Well, you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. Got another race with tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit. And sit. And sit. Mustn't quit. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock. Hours passed. No donkey. Did you know one hour equals 60 minutes, which is 3,600 seconds? It takes a spider about an hour to spin a fancy web. You blink your eye over 1,000 times in an hour. Your heart beats over 5,000 times in an hour. What do I do now? Then Bear remembered, keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang, rock a -bye donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I will be there. You'll be my donkey, I'll be your bear. Again, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear. You're rocking and singing in your chair? I'm keeping my donkey egg safe, replied Bear. Been rocking all day. No donkey. Well, you keep rocking and I'll keep running, said Hare. Gotta win that race. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to rock. And rock and rock. Rockety rock, tickety talk, clickety clock. Days passed. No donkey. Did you know one day equals 24 hours, equals 1,440 minutes, equals 86,400 seconds? One day is about how long it takes the earth to spin all the way around on its axis. Most chickens lay one egg per day. Bamboo can grow up to almost three feet a day. If you grew three feet a day, in just one week, you would be taller than a house. Kids laugh about 300 times in one day. Grown-ups only laugh 17 times. Now what? Then Bear remembered. Keep it happy. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears, fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part again and again till he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leaped through the air. He played peekaboo, hiding under his chair. For the third time, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're 
under your chair? I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear, keeping it happy so it will hatch. Been playing all week, still no donkey. But there will be, Bear grinned. So you keep running and I'll keep playing. I'm gonna hatch that egg and you're gonna beat that tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to play, and play, and play, night and day. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, weeks passed, no donkey. Did you know one week equals seven days, equals 168 hours, equals 10,080 minutes, equals 604,800 seconds? A mama hummingbird takes about a week to build her tiny nest which is the size of a ping pong ball. A mama eagle takes over two weeks to build her giant nest, which is eight feet wide. Dad helps. It takes about a week for a snake to shed its entire skin. Humans gradually shed their skin, about seven million skin cells in a week. Through wind and rain and snow, Bear stayed. He sang, he sat, he rocked, he played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair, bear and egg, egg and bear. Only napping here and there, bear grew tired, really tired, really, really tired. He couldn't keep from falling, falling fast asleep. Zzzz, plop, roll. Oh no, shouted Bear. Help, egg on the loose. Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose, Hare to the rescue. And the chase was on. It was egg out in front. Bear close behind and Hare bringing up the rear. Around the turn, egg leading, Hare speeding, Bear stampeding. Across the road, egg tumbling, Hare stumbling, Bear fumbling. Through the field, Bear thrashing, Hare dashing, egg crashing, crack. My donkey hatched, cried Bear. I've got him by the ears. Ouch, those are my ears, hollered Hare. Can't you see? It's not a donkey egg. It's a watermelon. But it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine certified donkey egg. Fox, gasped Hare. You believed Fox? Bear hung his head. He tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg, no baby donkey, no nothing. There wasn't a sound as Bear looked around. And there on the ground, guess what he found? Seeds. Bear had an idea. I've got work to do. Well, you start working and all. Hair paused. Oh, who cares about a silly old race? For hours, then days, Bear and Hare tilled the land. They weeded and planted and watered by hand. For weeks, then months, the plants grew and grew. May, June, July, they were growing into... Hmm, I wonder what they were growing into. Did you know that one month equals 31 days? or 30 days, or 29 days, or 28 days. 12 months equals 365 days, which equals one year. It takes a whole year for the earth to travel around the sun. Your hair grows about a half an inch per month, which means six inches per year. A mama donkey carries a baby donkey in her body for about a year before it is born. Of course, you already knew that donkeys don't actually come from eggs. What do we think those seeds were growing into then? 
watermelons everywhere. To market, to market went Bear and Hare to sell those melons. And what did they buy? Any guesses? Ta-da! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Fox is thinking, hmm, wait. Maybe that donkey really did come from that watermelon. Off ran Bear with donkey and hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was... Hmm, silly fox. The end. And this book is actually a nominee for this year's Chickadee Award. You can find this book as well as the other nominees at the library and make sure to read them all and get your vote cast for your favorite by May 27th. What a silly story, but I'm glad that Bear learned about hard work and about caring for something else and I'm glad he got his donkey in the end. If you still have your shaker eggs around, why don't you go ahead and grab them? don't have shakers, again, you can shake your hands. Let's start off by shaking together. Everyone can shake, 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 shake. Everyone can shake, 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 and then we make a stop. Stop shaking. Good job. Let's see what else we can do together. Everyone can wave, 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 wave. Everyone can wave, 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 and then we make a stop. Good stopping! You guys are really good at listening. Let's do one more together. How about clap? Everyone can clap, clap, clap. this week's story time. I'll be back again in two weeks with our longer story times, but in the meantime, I am still doing a Facebook Live story time every Tuesday at 1.30, so please feel free to join me there, or you can catch it after the live. It'll be up on the Facebook still. And those story times do follow the same themes, and they share some songs and sometimes some books, but they're always a little different, and usually they have different books. This week I did bunnies, so if you want some more bunny books, please go check that out. Otherwise, we are still doing our library long story times, although we are taking a little bit of a break. The best way to keep up with little changes like that is to get on our email list, but you can also check our website and do update it every week. We also have some fun activities coming up for April vacation. That's the week of the 20th. We have lots of fun activities going on on the library lawn. We have different art projects, engineering projects, and science projects. And then at the end of the week, on Saturday the 24th, we have a special community fire with a special guest, Auntie Crow. She'll be coming to do storytelling and traditional drumming. And we also will be making solar oven s'mores. So a little snack and a little bit of science tied in there. If you're interested in the fire, please go to our website to register. Registration is required. Thank you again so much for joining me. Before we go into our at-home activity, let's sing our goodbye song together. We will wave and we will clap. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends and wave goodbye like this. Bye friends, thank you. Today, we are making hand tracing bunnies. For this craft, you will need a couple pieces of paper, one color for your bunnies, or multiple colors, and one color for your background. You'll need a pencil, 
some scissors and some glue, and something to color with. Start by tracing your hand or asking someone to trace it for you. I traced my hand two times so I could have two bunnies. You can trace it once or many times. Next, cut out your traced hands. Once your hands are cut out, fold the middle finger down on each of them and then flip around so the middle finger is on the back. Next, you'll wanna fold in your outer fingers, the pinky and the thumb. Those are going to be your bunny's hands. Now you want to glue your hands onto your background. Make sure the middle finger is on the back, touching the paper, and do not glue your outer fingers onto the paper. You want those outer fingers, the bunny's hands, to be sticking up. Now, all that's left to do is to decorate your bunnies and the scenery. Thanks friends, have fun.